Urban sprawl is essentially the expansion of the geographical extent of a city or a town, and it's often characterized by low density development, meaning housing that is being built on really large land lots or scattered land lots, and is also characterized by the dependence on the individual automobile for each person's transportation. Problems caused by urban sprawl include increasing pollution in the air, water, and visual pollution, the degeneration of human health, the loss of resources and natural spaces, traffic jams, and accidents caused by the increase of this factor. In 1996, architect Paolo Soleri was appointed by 75 Japanese corporations to design the Hyper Building, a self-contained three-dimensional city for 100,000 people within a half a square mile by half a mile high and it was designed to last for 1,000 years. Within the hyper building, you would find creative environments, apartments, businesses, production, technology, open spaces, studios, and educational and cultural events that are all accessible. While privacy is predominant in the overall design, the greenhouses within would provide gardening spaces for public and private use and act as a solar collector for winter heat. Unfortunately, Japan went into an economic recession and the research for the hyper building came to a stop. As population grows beyond the Earth's capacity to sustain itself, it becomes imperative to preserve the natural ecology while developing marginal lands. As more and more of the world's population begins to move into the cities, and begin expanding horizontally around it, it is essential that we can learn how to efficiently and effectively live on limited land, conserving resources and energy by designing master plans that accommodate and sustain population growth and future migrations of new residents. Paolo Solari's design concept seemed eager and futuristic. To get a better picture, it would only take 37 hyper buildings and the town of Gilbert, Arizona to house all 7.2 million Arizona residents. Paolo Solari addressed urban sprawl and overpopulation through architecture and architecture only. There are other factors that play into sustaining humanity and maintaining their well-being other than building every amenity needed into a tower. Jane Jacobs, a journalist and the author of the book of The Death and Life of Great American Cities and the Charter of the New Urbanism, they both mentioned three principles that are relevant to sustain society, especially for future generations. Such factors include the region, metropolis, city, and town, where the metropolitan regions are finite places with geographic boundaries made of multiple centers. Development and redevelopment of towns and cities should respect historical patterns, precedents, and borders, such echo Jacob's belief of all buildings being crucial to thriving cities. The second one being the neighborhood, the district, and the corridor. Neighborhoods should be compact and walkable, also echoing one of Jacob's four factors of diversity, pedestrian-friendly and mixed use. Transit corridors, when properly planned and coordinated, can help organize metropolitan structures and revitalize urban centers. And last, the block, the street, and the building. All urban architecture and landscape design is the real definition of streets and public spaces as, pla as places of shared use. This model encourages planners to accommodate automobiles in a way that respects pedestrians, aiming for safe, comfortable, and exciting streets for pedestrians. In the future, cities will be more walkable, with shorter blocks and mixed-use buildings. Zoning laws will be more flexible, allowing multiple developments within the same sector reducing the need of commuting long distances and burning fossil fuel. The streets will prioritize the pedestrian first, then public transportation and private will follow. Mixed high-rise will become the new normal, where residents can get into their jobs from just a few steps from their homes or from just a short distance by bike. Technology in the future will be on our side, improving our daily lives. Urban sprawl and rapid population growth will require faster city development. Thus, 3D printer structures will become relevant in the day of tomorrow, allowing faster construction of new buildings. A higher number of in of habitants will also imply a higher demand for produce. Thus, vertical farming in a controlled environment 
will be key to optimize growth. Such farmsteads could also double as green spaces and be placed in public lo locations for the community to maintain growth and harvest, connecting us more with nature. Not only design will change, but the lifestyle and personality of the residents will too along with it. Less commuting, mixed use spaces and increased green areas will allow residents to come closer to one another and create a bond with their community. It cannot be said with determination what cities of the future will look like, but what we can do is work together to see how we can develop the city of tomorrow.